I've been st staying at work, get four, maybe five hours sleep on concrete. Not bad for a senior. Huh? Dave Ronahan is one of the many residents who doesn't have family or friends nearby to crash with. This after he was forced out of his home earlier this week by a six alarm blaze. The blaze crippled the building's electrical system and now has 1,500 people displaced. I'm Brandon Rowe at 650 Parliament Street, where the city tells us fire investigators are still trying to figure out what caused this blaze. And uh, they're still trying to determine when residents can actually move back into this apartment. As for uh, Dave, he actually showed up to the apartment today and uh, was trying to find out uh, the condition of the unit and to see if any items were left that could be salvaged. It, it, it's hard on the back. It gets hard on the back. But what can you do? You know, this is something that's, that's fluky. I, I know I'm on the waiting list for a hotel, so I have to be patient. As far as everything in the unit, I have gone back to get a few things. And I said, everything smells so bad. Everything is going to be tossed. It has to. And it's not just the smoke. You can smell the toxin. The city tells us that uh, as of this afternoon, accommodations have been secured for all but four residents. Now, displaced people are staying in 16 hotels across the GTA, including Brampton and Guelph. Now, Dave Ronahan does not have kids living in his unit, but there are concerns for the hundreds of families, especially those with kids, trying to cope with losing their home. And uh, this is added stress for those that are uh, starting school. We reached out to the TDSB to see what they're doing to help, and they sent City News this statement. The TDSB is currently looking at how they can best support students and their families that have been impacted by the fire. In the meantime, we continue to monitor the situation closely and will connect with parents once we have better understanding of the next steps. The city says efforts are underway to relocate residents from hotels outside of Toronto by tomorrow to make it easier for families to get to work and school.